and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my monthly update for Beauty A to Z. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab that has been going on for years and years. It was created by myself and Amanda like forever ago <laughs> and um, it just keeps coming back year after year. People seem to really like it and I enjoy doing it because um, it's interesting trying to fit a product for every letter of the alphabet. Last year Last year I tried to do it with all eyeshadows, didn't go so well. So this year I um, went back to um, doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that to, to get my alphabet. But it is a year long project. It always starts on the first of the year, ends on the last day of the year. And um, yeah, it's 26 products. It's a lot, it is a lot. It's just like this hair, this hair is a lot. Um, so I'm only going to show you what I have worked on since the last update and um, there's a few that I have not worked on or there is no actual visible progress to show you so we don't need to even look at those right now so um, as of the last update I had finished 16 of the 26 so I only had 10 more to go I now have my 17th product done so I only have nine more to go so I'm going to show you my empty and then I'm only going to show you four other products because those are the ones that have actually um, had some decent usage on them and um, decent, I guess, is relative. But, um, you know, we don't need to we don't need to drag this out for just five products total. So for the letter G, I have the Goop Beauty. There's my G right there. Microderm Instant Glow Exfoliator. This one I really enjoyed a whole lot. It is completely gone now and um, like it even smelled good. It was, um, it was very nice. It made my skin very happy. My only issue with this is one, it is in a tub, which I always felt like water got into it and I'm not the biggest fan of um, like digging my nails into things and getting, you know, contaminating the product. And even though my nails aren't like crazy long, they're long enough to get stuff under them. So that was like um, probably my least favorite thing about this. So, um, you know, I would find ways to, to try and like use the front of my nail and then I would mess up my nail polish. It was just, it was frustrating, but it was such a good product. Now, my only other issue with this product is it is insanely, insanely expensive. This little guy right here, which I didn't pay for because I got it through Octoly a while back as PR. Um, this is $125. I do believe in good skincare. I do believe sometimes you um, really get what you pay for, but there's also a lot of really good stuff that um, isn't even half this price. And um, yeah, as much as I love this product, if you're you know in the market for something really high end, and I do believe Goop Beauty is um, cruelty free, if you really wanna go high end, this is a very lovely scrub, microderm, like exfoliator, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is very lovely. It, it works. It does a good job. But I just can't with that price tag. $125? No. No, I can't do it. Um, all right, moving on to my four products that I'm going to show you that are continuing on in this project that actually do have a little bit of progress on them. The first one is for the letter A. It is the Essence All About Matte fixing powder in the compact form. I almost have this worn away right here, their little um, imprint or whatever. That is almost worn away. Um, it is on the one side, it's just a little bit left on this side. This is great for um, like oily skin like mine. If you use too much though, it will give you a slight white cast, but if you're um, light handed, it's not a problem. So, and usually, after a few minutes, that white cast for me, oh, this hair, um, tends to go away. So I, that doesn't really bother me a whole lot, but this is gonna start getting a little bit more usage and um, hopefully make some more progress. The next one is for the letter C. This is the Paracone MD Citrus Face Wash. And the C is for citrus. And I was at this gold before, and now I'm at this purpley pink kind of line right there. And um, the reason it's not as good a progress is because I am really focusing on another face wash because that project ends a little bit sooner. So I've been trying to play around with that one a little bit more. The next one I was already hoping, I was hoping it would be already gone, but it's not. This is for 
the letter E. This is another Essence product. This is the Prime and Studio Mattifying Pore Minimizing Primer with Black Clay. It almost sounds empty and it's at the point where I have to really tap it in order to get some out. I will cut it open and like once I can't squeeze any more out, I will cut it open and um, you know, put it, whatever I can scrape out into like a little container so that it will completely get used up. Um, it's not bad. I probably wouldn't buy it again, but um, yeah, that one, that one is gonna get done. By the next update, she's gonna be done. And oddly enough, <laughs> My last product is another Essence product. I don't, I didn't have that many Essence products in here. They just happen to be all in this update. And this is for the letter P. This is the Essence My Skin Perfector Loose Fixing Powder in 20 Nude. It is a little bit dark for me, even though I do have some good color still. Um, I was able to mix a little bit with lavender and it is still at 38 grams, but I have a feeling that um, it is kind of like on that verge of going to 37, but powder's so lightweight, it's it's hard to tell. But I am making a little bit of progress on this, and um, it is actually being used now where earlier in the year it really wasn't. So hopefully I will get, um, get a little bit more progress. This is actually what I have on my skin today with a little bit of the lavender to cut the, the um, like kind of, it's almost got like a yellowy tint to it, which, um, I have neutral to olive undertones, so I, I can't go too warm. So I have to be careful. That's why I have my lavender powders because uh, it keeps me from going too warm because ain't nobody got time for that. All right, that is my update, um, short and sweet, and um, just five products, one done and four continuing on. If you want to join in, this is going to be continuing till the end of the year. It will be back next year. I've had a lot of people ask, um, which project, which projects are coming back for next year. This one is definitely coming back. So, um, if you don't want to jump in this late in the year, completely understand that. Know that you can jump in on the first of the year with everyone else again. And I think that is everything. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.